I'm Todd Townsend here at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona for anewdomain.net, and we're here at Imageware with Chuck Obachon, and Chuck's going to show us a little bit about what they're doing with biometrics. They've been in the business for a long, long time. They have something going on here with the iPad and the phone. What do you have here, Chuck? Well, we've got two, actually, uh, applications. The, this one, actually, the pill phone, actually incorporates the technology that we're using here. It's our Go Mobile Interactive product, and essentially the Go Mobile Interactive product is a patented messaging platform that allows us to very quickly integrate biometrics to replace, for example, passwords. So it can be used certainly to sign on to an account. Right now we've got some accounts that we're going to use that to uh, authenticate each and every transaction that as it takes place. This same interactive technology is in the pill phone, which is an enterprise version of a, it's actually the only FDA cleared medical adherence application on the market. So. Uh, and it's really used to authenticate the person, not the person, not the device. So what's interesting, you were showing me a little bit, is it's multiple forms of biometric authentication. So it's voice, it can also be uh, eye, uh, face. So unlike other forms where you have one form and sometimes it can be copied. Remember some of the face authentication originally if you held up a photo, it's been worked on since then. But this actually uses more than one, which you would think really ups, ups the security level. Absolutely, we also have some anti-spoofing technology that we use to make sure that we're not seeing a photo, for example. We're seeing an, a live face, if you will. So this is great for transferring money over the internet, dual authentication. You're talking about the FDA approved device here. It can authenticate prescriptions for somebody. I mean, this is really the future of using your personal biometric information to authenticate anything. Absolutely, and, and the key to this is multiple biometrics. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, one biometric just doesn't fit all. And so we, we have, I believe in our engine now, we have 11 biometric modalities involved. And so as, as the technology on the handsets become available, will integrate those biometrics as well. So you've been in this business for quite a while. What kind of future technologies do you see coming over the next, say, five to 10 years that will up the game here, and how would that work once they're available? Clearly, and we've heard it from the Samsung and everyone, that Samsung is putting a fingerprint on theirs now, and I guess we're, they said they're going to announce it here this week. And um, I think also we've heard Iris will be coming soon, and so that, that kind of technology, is, as it moves forward, we can integrate it and make it available to our customers, so it's pretty cool. Now, for a lot of customers out there, they're just getting used to having all their information in the cloud, whether it's you know Google Drive, storing everything in the cloud, they'll now be storing their biometric information in the cloud. This, I would assume, would be highly secured, highly encrypted. Absolutely, it's also anonymous, so we don't, we don't link the biometric to an identity, so we just, we, we take a template, say, is this template match, yes or no? So we don't actually care about who it is only that that match takes place. So we're moving from a world where people have all agreed pretty much that passwords are old fashioned, they're out of style, they're not going to work, they're not secure, to something with multiple forms of authentication that is secure and also easy to use. Correct, absolutely right. I mean, it's just, it's that simple, I think. Well, Chuck, thank you for taking the time. We look forward to seeing where this goes in the future. All right, thank you. For a new domain.net here at Mobile World Congress, I'm Todd Townsend.